Welcome everyone to our 24th Fireside Chat. I'm Tim Hollick and with me as always is my good friend Joe Zinni. Hey Tim, how are you? Good, how are you? We're having a great day. We are. Thanks. We had a good conversation this morning. Great conversation. I enjoyed that and it uh, kind of runs into what we're talking about today and it's uh, about motivation. Right. And the proper use of motivation. It's, it, it, you know, it's, it's not the tool. You know, it's a tool, it's not the result. It's not the result. Yeah, it's not the result. I mean, there's, there's a lot to motivation. you got to get motivated, but then you need to take it from there. The exactly. motivation is not going to carry you through. No, because a lot of people think that after a seminar or some guy speaking, they, they, they get hyped up. That's the motivation that goes to your brain because just that, the mind starts traveling. You're learning things that, you know, you've never heard before. So, oh, this sounds good. But you're right, it, it just doesn't take you forward. It's a tool to help you take it forward. Sure. People think it's the result. No. They think right as soon as they get motivated, right. they're going to get something right. out of it. No, you have to, you have to set a plan. Uh, you have to have a vision first, like I always talk about. Yeah. Then you set a plan, then you have the desire to carry it through. Right. You know, Napoleon Hill said in his book, Think and Grow Rich, you know, desire is not, you know, a hope or a wish. It's a definite. It's a definite. You it, it know is. what you want. It is. And and that that was one of the most powerful points of that book is the fact that, you know, desire, you know, he talked about Edwin Barnes, you know, nobody knows who Edwin Barnes is in the life, but he was the person who heard of Edison, Thomas Edison back then, and said, you know, I want to be his partner. He had a burning desire inside, he wanted to be his partner. He actually did a stowaway on a train to get there. He, he left everything behind where he lived to go here to his definite plan, his desire to become Edison's partner. Now, when he got there, he didn't think he was going to be his partner. He knew he'd have to do things to get there. Right. And when the opportunity reared its head, he was going to be there to grab it. And people says, well, how does he know that? Because he had a burning desire in him. He had a definite thought. Right. the desire to become his thing. And he eventually did. Something came about. Uh, Edison's sales people, he, he invented the dictaphone back then. Right. And his sales people said they couldn't sell it. Now we won't be able to do this. And Edward Mann saw that opportunity and says, I can sell it. And he did. He made a very successful business for Edison and he became his partner. So it was a burning, definite desire in him. And, and that's really what helps get you there and, and makes it happen. The plan is your step-by-step -step thing to get there. Right. So he, he, you know, it's funny because a lot of people start off with that wish or that thought or, oh, I'd like to be that. The burning desire is what makes you get moving, but you need to get motivated, but you need to take it further than that. You need to have a plan. You need to think about, take the steps. Because yeah. Take action. Like we just said, motivation, you know, it doesn't, nothing happens by itself. No. No, you it's going to sit there. You need, you need to make it happen. You can see there all day and you can tell somebody to do something. They go, yep, that's right. But if they leave the room after you've got done telling them and think it's going to happen on its own, they're sadly mistaken. Right. It's like that, that tool that you buy. You buy this special tool, costs you a lot of money to get something done, and then you don't use it. Yeah, put it in the drawer. Don't do any good. And don't do any good. Nope. You know, and that's the problem with people. They think right away that the motivation is one that's going to get them there. Um, it, it's what helps you get there because it gives you that feeling inside. And again, I, we discuss it pretty much every week. Yeah. That vision, yeah. knowing where you want to go, is really the the pilot light yeah. that keeps you lit. It's that spark. That spark. It stays it's there. It's the flint that gets you going. But yeah. we all know that after that, it's you got to do more than that. Well, I'm fine. You got to do something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. I mean, That's the thing. You know, we talk and we talk about it often, you know, how you know you've got the inspiration, you've got the motivation, you get going, you got the desire, but you talk about not only the vision but the plan to make it all come together. Talk about the plan. The plan basically is your step by step way of getting there. You know, if you want to say a salesperson wants to pick up this new account, you know, calling is not enough. No. You have to have a step-by-step -step plan to get there. You know, it could be where I'm going to mail out something. The next time I'm going to call. The next time I'm going to show up. The next time I'm going to do this, do that. It's the progress of getting there. I mean, unfortunately, most salesmen again think that because they called somebody, somebody's going to buy from them. It's really not about buying something from you. It's really about 
what you can do for those people in their lives, and that's what you're selling. You're not selling the product. Um, so the plan is that step-by-step -step way to get you there. Now, does the plan you wrote down at first get you there? No, well, you might have to adjust it. You can always adjust it, but you didn't adjust your vision. Your vision was to get that account, right. you know? Right. And that's all it really is, is you have to put things in your mind. You know, I've always done that. We just talked about that this morning when we did. it came to sales. If I knew I had to do so much, you know, as a business per month, I'd put that in my head and somehow it happens. People say, well, was it magic? No, because I had it in my head. I was always thinking about it. If I knew I had to do $75,000 average a month for the year, I was always talking, I was always looking, I was noticing opportunity, you know? There's a plan. There is a plan. You know? The and you, you use the key word, it's not magic, because if you want magic, hire a, a magician. That's right. I love it when you said that because it makes a lot of sense. There's nothing magic to it. There's, you know, it's hard work, it's, it's following your plan, it's having the desire, using that motivation as a tool to get you to the next step. But sitting there waiting for it to happen, it's not going to get you anywhere. And it, like you said, it's not magic. It's not. You got to keep moving. What are the what are some of the things people lose their motivation, and that sometimes is, is, is a, is a uh, to use a '60s word. That's a drag. They they lose their motivation. Now they get a little lost. How do you keep your motivation? What keeps you motivated? Well, <clears throat> again, it comes down to your vision. What do you really want? What's that definite desire? That definiteness in your body that wants to get you. So you always have to think of that. But most people lose their motivation because something doesn't work, or they get a rejection, or they're tired. Um, so really it's always looking at the final result. What is the end result? The end result is Edward Barnes wanted to be Edison's partner eventually. It didn't come in one year, it didn't come in three years, probably didn't come in five years. Could have been 12 years down. I don't think it ever said in the book how long it took, but it finally the opportunity was in. They says, yeah. well, was that luck? No, he developed that opportunity somehow because he was always thinking about it. You don't always see opportunity. No. But if you're always thinking about it, you're always talking about it, you set RAS, you know, your reticular activating system in your head, and you're, you're seeing better now. You're seeing, you never notice when you buy a car, all of a sudden, when you're driving, you see that same car, oh, sure, absolutely. that brand, yeah. that style, okay. because you set your reticular activated system, that's your RAS, and you 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 now more recognizable because you drive one now. Yeah. They were around before, yeah, sure. just like the you know punch buggy. Yep. You know the game you play in the car. If you see a beetle, Volkswagen beetle, punch buggy, you yeah. punch each other. Now all of a sudden you had 37 bruises on your arm because yeah. you're playing punch buggy because. Again, you set yourself up for that, and you talked uh, something that's really, really important. I want to go back to that. Was that you know, you, your your plan, no magic to it. Your RAS, you're working all these pieces because there is a certain amount of luck. Don't get me wrong. There but when you're planning it, like you said, Edwin Barnes. Well, he got lucky at the end. He set that up. He worked to get to that point. He did. So he that's what you need to do. You need to take the motivation to get to that point. So when now luck is an opportunity. Where before, if you're just sitting there waiting, you have to get lucky. You have to wait for the lottery ticket. Well, that doesn't happen to a lot of people. Right. You need to work towards that. And I think that that's one of the things that people need to realize. If you're motivated and you work that plan and you work towards it, luck becomes less of a factor. Right, exactly. Because it looks like luck. But he had that desire to carry his plan through, always in his head, always thought about it, even before he got to Edison and worked from it first. He had that thought to carry it through. Now, could Edward and Barnes have missed that opportunity? I mean, sure. he could have not acted on that sure. and just said, I probably Absolutely. can't sell it either. Right. But he looked at it as an opportunity, took it to different levels. He got that dick the phone out there like no other. And the other salesmen didn't want to try it. So, Maybe those salespeople would have had better success than him, but he saw it as an opportunity, he took it. But again, the desire to carry it through. Un unfortunately, most people lose that motivation. They do. And they don't carry through. Disappointment, mistakes. Rejection was the Rejection. Yeah. All that stuff is those, those punches as you're going, boom, boom. Right. Wood Palace didn't become what it was in a couple of years, didn't become what it was in 10 years. It took a long time, and when opportunity was there, I took advantage of it. But I worked hard to get there. I worked hard to get the reputation. I worked hard to get noticed. I worked hard at a lot of things. And 
But along the way, boom, 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 constantly yep. punches in the, in the nose, punches yep. in the stomach that yep. took your wind away. But I never quit because I had the burning desire to carry my plan through to become a successful business. And I don't look at my business as being successful because of the money. I look at the success of it that was built. Other people built you it. Built it. They're here. Yes. And we're getting results from it. Other people's lives are being impacted because of it because they got a better job or whatever it is. I look at that as success more than the money. Sure. Of course, money comes with it. But I think, you know, and I've, and I've mentioned it before, you know, you work your plan, you work hard, you do all the things you're supposed to do, you take care of the customer. The money comes. It does. That's all part of that. Because you're not looking for all the pie, you're looking for pieces of the pie, and you're working the plan. Sometimes I, I look at certain businesses and it's all about the money. It's not going to work that way. Right. You know, you got motivated, you had the burning desire, you got a plan, and you worked that plan. So being in business 40 years is not lucky. No. It's, it's, it's a lot of hard work. No magic. No magic. And, you know, a lot of pain. A lot of pain, uh, but the pain goes away. You know, I'm not hurt by it. No, you might have your feelings hurt by it. I don't think I've been physically hurt by it in any way. I don't, don't remember anything like that. No, no. It's just those punches. A lot of things. This breaks. This happens. All of a sudden, you can't do this. You, there's so many things that come along the way that can stop your motivation. And I guess my desire and my definiteness to have what I wanted done you know, got me through those because everybody has disappointments. Everybody has yeah. stuff that punches them in the nose right. or the stomach. Everybody. I still have it today. There's days that life takes me away too. Sure. But I have the, the desire to always keep going forward and push that aside and go forward with it. But you're right, there's no magic to it. You want, ma you, know, you want magic, hire magicians. I love that, because it's true. It is so true. I mean, there is no magic to it. The magic is in the hard work that you put into it, the right. dedication, the planning, you know, and, and, and being motivated. Now, one of my most important things about this is you like to motivate others. You love to be able to set a spark for somebody else. How do you do that? Well, basically, it's getting, like we talked this morning on our plan for, a, you know, a new venture with a kid's group is you got to understand the mindset of people. It's the same in sales. If you don't really ask good questions, you're not going to know how to help somebody. I can't design it. I could design any kitchen the way I want to, but it's really not about what I want. It's what they want. So I got to ask questions. Same thing with motivation. What's going to stick? What, what's going to help these kids remember what we say and carry that forward and not fizzle out? There will always be some that fizzle out. I call that the weak. The weak kid can't take it to the next step because they don't have the desire enough to get through the pain. Because right. there's a lot of pain sometimes. Well, of course there is. But I've noticed in my life, the more I step back, the better I do things because I'm not working hard all the time and not thinking. When you step back some, you don't work hard as, I mean, I work hard, but I don't work like I used to. We never have, you know, years ago, I never had the time to sit down here like we did this morning sure. for a couple hours and talk like that. And do the brainstorming that sometimes you need to, so you That's can get right. a better vision. It's part of the plan. It is part of the plan. We, we sat down to make a plan for this new venture with a youth group, and we have to talk about it. We're gonna, we're, you know, we've asked questions to them. To, what, what are they thinking? What do they want? Right. What do the kids want out of this? What is the program? What's gonna motivate them yeah. to follow all the way through? Not just to sit and listen, to what you have to say, but engage with them so that when they leave there, it's not out of their brain in two to five days, they carry it with them. Right, I'm not there to trick people into no. motivation. No. You know, it's easy to make people feel motivated, but you want something to stick. Right. But they still have to let it make them stick too, Absolutely. because if they don't do what I'm saying in the process, it won't stick. It'll, it'll, it'll wear away, it goes away, and then you stop and that's probably 80% of the force. It's always that 80-20 rule. The 80% says it doesn't work. Well, because they didn't make it work. They didn't want to try to make Wait it work. Wait a minute, I was all hyped up. I was ready to go. I got out there and I did work. everything. It didn't work. Yeah, they, you know why you didn't work it? Yeah, it's, it's like the people who want to sell, and they go out and ask three, four, or five people. They try to get it, they don't get it, anything, and they just say it doesn't work. Yeah, it didn't work. Because you're not doing it right. I, I can tell you how to do things, but you've got to tailor it to you. Like 
when I used to cold call, I used to go out in the boat, if I was out visiting jobs and saw a house, I'd go up there. If it was the framers, I had something I'd say to them. If it was the builder, I would just introduce myself and just say what we do, what we can offer you. Um, and before I finish, I'd say thank you for, you know, taking up a little bit of time here. And um, I promise if I ever do do something for you, I'll be an asset to your business. And I'd walk away. Good. And probably more than 50% of the time, people say, well, I got a plan you can price. Now, if I just went there and asked them to do the kitchen, so you think I got the same result? Because no. they already had somebody doing that. Right. There's people do that all the time out there. So sure. what was I doing? My plan, I placed things in it. I tried this, I tried that. It took time to figure it out. Sure. But I always kept trying to make it work, and that's really what life is about. You know, it doesn't always happen the first time. Well, Most of the time it does. Well, 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 all the time it you're does. You're lucky if it does. Yeah, that, that, that's yeah. where the luck comes in. Because right. you haven't worked at it enough. you got to work at it. you got to work your plan. you got to stay motivated. And, and I think you're right. We're, gonna, we're, we're, gonna, we're looking at a, a different venture, and we're going to try and get some kids motivated. But getting them motivated and keeping them motivated is the key. It's, it's two different stories. It is. Yeah. It is. But, you know, motivation's a tool. It is a tool. It's, it's not, not the result. result. It is not the you result. Know, you have to vision, plan, right. and the desire to carry it through. We hope that this will help motivate you. But again, it's not the end of the story. Uh, once you get motivated, you're going to carry through. Great talk today. It was a great talk today. I enjoyed this. Thank Looking you. Looking forward to our next one. The next one's uh, the consequences uh, for your actions, and I like that one too. Cool. See you then. Thank you.